podcast this afternoon on a very special Valentine's Day. I I look more regal than I do like Valentine's y. I was trying to kind of be sexy, but uh, look, okay. My skin is like really bad right now, and I'm just trying to hold on every day in hopes that like my eczema won't go like all over. So there's that. So all you get is lipstick on me today. But this like tiara, I'm like. So I am making a, a doodad, uh, yeah, we're doing um, we are doing fondue, so if you don't know what fondue is, it's awesome. I, I just, uh, also if you don't know what fondue is, well, that's sad. It's, okay, fondue technically is just like the uh, Swiss cheese. Gruyere, Amventelier, we're gonna do a blend of both today. Um, and, you know, a little bit of white wine and like, you know, make it like a cheese sauce with white wine. You could throw an onion in there, whatever. Um, we're gonna definitely throw some garlic in there. So that is what traditional fondue is. Everything else has different origins. Like the hot oil fondue isn't really fondue. It's called something else. And the court bouillon fondue, chocolate fondue is a completely new invention. It's not a traditional fondue. Fondue just means like melted cheese in a pot, basically, you know. Um, doing a go live thing, you know, I really should get like a, a screen. I do have like a go live screen, but I don't like it anymore. So who oh, knew? No. <laughs> That's funny. This is my daughter is staying at her grandma's and my nieces are there helping out. So that is awesome. Okay, so where should we start? Well, there's a bunch of things I need to do. I have seafood thawing over here. Most of that is just pretty much cut and plate. I also have, oh yeah, I have my meat. I have some filet mignon. Ooh, sexy. Still in the package. Um, I froze it because I wanna cut this real thin. So I'm gonna let it thaw till it's like a semi-frozen state. And that way I could get a really nice thin slice on it. And you know, cause when it's not frozen, obviously it's a bit harder to do, so. Is that? And then we're gonna steam and air fry these boys. Um, these won't take nearly as long as you think. These will probably end up taking like 20 minutes tops. Just because, you, like, it's like three minutes in the steamer and then it's gonna take like, I think, probably like 15 minutes. So I guess what we should do is we'll start with the potatoes. Um,. Start with the potatoes, and then we will, um, I guess, like, I will start the sauces. Then I'm going to get my plates together with all my side stuff. Um, and then that's it. Seems very simple, right? But it's a lot of little things that are going to go into the fondue preparation. It's mostly just, like, you know, making nice fancy platters, so... However, I'm going to start with my court bouillon first before I get to my cheese boys. Well, first 
we're gonna steam our potatoes. Oh, awesome. Nobody cleaned this. There's some bay leaves in there. You know, people are always like one or two or three. I'm like, I don't care. I'll like throw a handful in there. But I usually don't. But I'm gonna throw a couple peppercorns. Oh no, I got pepper on my cutting board <laughs> from where my grinder was. Person do it was they just cut the bulb of garlic in half. Oh, look at that. Doesn't it look so cool that way? Oh, now it's falling apart. Oh, well. Yeah, you know, don't want all the extra glittery stuff, but I'm gonna peel this guy. Yeah, I'm gonna forego the onion in, the, in my cheese sauce. Uh, personally, I would put onion in there, but, um, boyfriend does not like onions. So. But, uh, with this, it's just, um, uh, flavor. I'll take these out later, you know. Yan is just sort of like white wine, uh, you know, salt, pepper, which reminds me I need to find the salt, and some stock. So, you know, very simple. Some aromatics. You could put like um, like an herb sachet in there if you desire. Fat-free beef stock. Well, the stock should be relatively fat free. You know. I didn't make my own beef stock because what am I going to make beef stock out of? They make stock look so appetizing on, on here, but I mean, it's usually made in like giant fats, rendering plants, so it's not, it's not pretty. She's not pretty. Oh, so not pretty. 
Well, this is probably, I would say that would be enough if you weren't thinking, well, evaporation. I mean, this is gonna go for a while. I'll put this on the stove and you're gonna, and whatever is left over, well, we'll just take that and use it for something else later. It'll still be edible. Well, depending. Obviously, I'm only going to put what uh, we need to use, what we're going to be using, you know, out. But this will just remain on my stove, so. We have our onion, our garlic, some bay leaves, some peppercorns. I guess I could go more and some salt in there. We'll taste it before we put it out. But uh, that's gonna go on a back burner here. Kind of a low setting. Just gonna get that going. All right, so here we are. There's nothing crazy in here. As you should with most of your stuff. Well, I guess I'll, I'm just going to cook all of these off. I think. There's not a whole lot of them. And I'm probably, I'm certain that we're probably not going to eat all of this whole sack of potatoes. But, you know, I can use them for the rest of the morning. Covers most of it. That's fine. So we need to put like about oh a half a cup of water in here. That should be good. Half a cup of water. Turn the insert in there. We're gonna let it steam. So I'm gonna throw it in our ninja, which is all the way on the other side of the kitchen. Sorry. Now, I have this lid, which is the, um, make sure that's the thing. Um, Use like a pressure cooker before it's a pressure cooker lid, and then you put it on the seal. What are we gonna do? We're going to do the steam function, and then we're gonna do it what for steam way less. Ooh, 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 ooh. That should be good, and then we'll just let it go. Forget about it. We already got our bouillon going. We're already halfway done. No, we're not. But it's nice to think that way. <laughs> Time to grate some cheese. We're going to grate this cheese. Where are we? I should probably crush some garlic first. I want to see if there's any. everything. Oh, see, I hate it when they're like so tiny. They're like minuscule. What the heck? I 
hope everybody's having a good thing. Oh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> Valentine's Day out there. I'm trying to like be like, I don't want to make too much, um, which is so hard. Like, you know, these fondue places, they have like, you know, vats of cheese just waiting in the back to be dumped into pots and sent out, you know. It's already pre-pet prepped. I wonder how like easy it would be to work at one of those places in, as a chef, you know. All you have to do is like, I made some sauces, I cut some veggies up. All I gotta do is like, someone else probably gotta put it on a plate, send it out. It's really dark in there. And people who go to those places are just looking to bone anyway, so they ain't paying attention to your food. Well, unless they're me. <laughs> I will judge you on the place you take me. No. I want to go to a hot pot place once uh, coronavirus is over and eat. Uh, you know, like that, the hot pots that I see on, um, what is it, like, uh, Dancing Bacons, those hot pots. I actually had, like, a take-home hot pot once. That was really cool. But there's a place that just opened, like, last year, right before, um, coronavirus, that, uh, had a really good hot pot. I think about this much butter. So we're gonna saute the garlic. I feel like setting up my third cam today, so I'm sorry. Also, I need to clean this stove top. And I don't feel like, I feel like it takes away from the stream sometimes. I actually get like the little insert things that go over the top, and then that way it'll be like easier to clean, but I'm like, I'm gonna clean it really well, put these things on top, and then... My uh, Valentine's Day gift to you one year will be a new stove. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we'll never want to use it because it looks so nice. Yeah. We'll just be like. We'll just keep our other one, you know, and then we'll just cook with that day to day. <laughs> so it's the pretty one. Take it for steam. Yeah. 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 I'll just use it for streams, but I put the already cooked food on top of it. Yeah. There's this lady who's a food streamer in Oregon, and I, I, I found her stream the other day. I guess she's on our stream team, because, like, who isn't? But, um, I don't know why. I'm just having, this garlic just must be, like, so old. I don't know. It doesn't want to crush for me. Um, and she has, like, this, like, restored, like, old ceramic stove from, like, the 1800s. Or something like that. I have to. She has a video on it. I have to go back and find her profile and watch it because it's really nice. It's a really nice stove. It's just gorgeous. But I, they do make stoves like that still, like the the ones where it's like got a proofer in it and like you know, like three or four different compartments for different things. Like this is your broiler, this is your whatever. <sighs> oh, oh, hey, it's a raid. Oh, geez, it's Gold Damsel. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you so much for the raid, you guys. Happy Valentine's. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate it. Awesome. I hope you guys, how was your stream? Was it, what, what did you make? Oh, it's 
so awesome. I, I appreciate it so much. Oh, thank you for the follow. Skull, skull and cross. <laughs> awesome. I'm so, I'm so honored. Thank you so much for the, for the, for the raid. Oh, thank you for the follow. Uh, more lol. I, I had to like change this thing because it's like, okay, I can see it better now. Mauer low. Mauer. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. Wow, it's a lot of people. So many people. I hope you guys are all having a great Valentine's Day. Already followed. Awesome. Thank you. Baking some simple cookies. Oh, and your new kitchen. That's awesome. Congrats on the new kitchen. I know we're kind of like renovating our kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> There's usually like um, doors and stuff on our cabinets. Um, I am making uh, fondue. I have three different types. Uh, currently, I am working on the cheese fondue. So I need to grate these my cheese. I got some uh, Gruyere. That's Murray's Gruyere. So, ah, Woo. I don't know. And then I have this Robusto cheese. Oh, some time ago? I think so. Awesome. Oh, and then I got my uh, butter going over here for it and some garlic. So we're gonna make kind of like, um, like a bechamel, it, which is like basically this up. I didn't eat. Do you stick with the, the kitchen piece? Yeah, I, I follow mostly kitchen streamers myself. And we're gonna, well this one, yeah, okay, this one does have a little bit of a rind. It's like slimy, why is it slimy? I think it's just cause it's been sitting out for a second and all the oil are starting to release. I know, I make it sound so appealing, don't I? I don't want that to burn. I just want it to saute really nicely. I guess I could have probably got my food processor out for this. And that would have been um, much quicker than having to do this by hand. But this, I don't want the paper. We'll have to cut that off. <laughs> a nice lazy day, awesome. And I was feeling very lazy today. I did not want to do anything. I woke up and I was like, nope. Oh, there's like wax on this one. I'm not gonna have to cut the rind off of this guy. Some rinds are edible, some or not. But, um, thank you for the follow, Rom Romzo, Rombo Zombo. Okay. <laughs> I have to learn to read there for a second. This one, it's a, it's a Robusto. Uh, it is from Aged Cheese. This comes from Holland. So yeah, it's, I, I, it doesn't say that it's smoked, but it does look like it's smoked. It's gotta be smoked. Hmm. <laughs> I know, I, 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 didn't, I didn't know I was gonna look so royal out. I was like, I need something on my hair to hold it back. And I was like, I'm just gonna wear my, <laughs> uh, um, whatever this is, tiara. Is it smoked? It doesn't say that it's smoked, but I think it might just be aged. Like, it was aged goat milk. That's what it said. It doesn't taste smoked. I think it's just the color. I think it's just a natural color. <laughs> I know. I didn't say it was smoked in the package. I'm not sure Robusto is always smoked. 
I don't, I'm, I'm just not, oh, I don't know that. Alright, I gotta let this go. I messed up because <laughs> those are not done you have any food on the floor I will eat it <laughs> oh goat milk yeah it's like yeah it's a it's called robusto it's goat's milk okay pressure low oh that's right I'm on the wrong side here time And then it'll start. Okay. I don't know what I was thinking. I put the wrong setting, so they're still like, they're not done. <laughs> what kind of chocolate am I using? Parma Gouda, a good blend, not smoked. Okay. So it's like a, a blend, like kind of like that. All right. Oh, that's for Oh, winter weather advisory. Oh, no. Um, I'm just using Ghirardelli. I couldn't really find anything good. Um, sometimes I'll, uh, like the Calabo chocolate, they'll sell them in chunks at, uh, the local grocery store, but they didn't have it, so I just got Ghirardelli, which is pretty good. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Hey, Ingrediology. Mm. Ingrediology. There we go. I'm like struggling to speak normal words today. So I'm just hand shredding. Should I get my food processor out? Fondue sounds amazing. Yes. I am so excited. I haven't had fondue in so long. And it's like, we are like covered in snow. So it's like perfect. <laughs> And it, apparently we're going to get more snow because it's what my watch said. So awesome. The snow just never stops. <laughs> Ooh. If I had my food processor, I'd be done by now. And I'm always like, I got this so I could shred cheese like in like two seconds but then I'm like oh it's only gonna take me two seconds to do the cheese so like why should I get it out and then it's just like extra things to clean you used your grater last night bitching about dishes only because of the grater yeah snow came with vengeance this week yeah it's that crazy polar, pol polar vortex. <laughs> but you know, yeah. It's just like, I mean, I have like a dishwasher, so it's not really a big deal. But, you know. I need to work out more anyway. Get the workout. <laughs> Buller Vortex, yeah. <laughs> we were due for some snow here in Michigan anyway, because it was like, we escaped ma the majority of the winter with like mild weather. Like there were like, I think there was a couple 60 degree days, like in like December and January. It was really wild. And then now it's like, hey, it's winter. It's like, but well, I thought we were done with winter. No. Yeah, it was like, there was like a day or two that was like 60 degrees, which is like, 
uncalled for in Michigan in the winter time. Usually like 30s, like mid 30s, maybe upper like mid 40s or whatever. But up until like maybe like last like two weeks ago, it's been not really wintry. This one is harder cheese. For sure. Oh yeah. Good luck. Whew. Yeah, that lake effect. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we we are pretty lucky that we don't get a lot of the lake effect snow. But the, our um, Canadian uh, peeps do. They get all the lake effect. Everybody on the west side of the state gets all lake. I'm on the east side of the state, so. We could skip a lot of that stuff most of the time. It doesn't last as long. It's like my grandma's place will always have like way more snow. Almost there. I should check on my um, garlic though. I put it on low. Oh yeah, it's good. Excellent. <laughs> my hand is like wet, but it's not conducive to shredding things. need to like have one slip and then it's like well that dream's over no. hey Doug you know I'm live right hello chef how are you doing today We're so close. We're so close. Uh, it's a like a velvet kind of. It's not like real velvet. It's like I guess that would be like velour or something like that, right? It does look kind of. <laughs> it's not cardboard. <laughs> yeah, I actually got this at Target. Go figure. Oh, this is like part of like, I think this is part of their Christmas collection, but I'm like, it's black. You can wear it whenever. It's like. So close. It's like it's sort of hard. Ow! Whoops. Velvet, that's the word. <laughs> I know with like this bling on, I feel like I belong in like Downton Abbey or something. Like, like, ah, this is just almost too solid. Darn it. I knew I should have built it up. All right, I'm gonna eat this. Wow. You can finally sell my Elvis painting. <laughs> my parents did not have an Elvis painting, a velvet Elvis painting, but they did have a velvet painting that we had like hung up in our like our basement for like the longest time until I think uh, something happened where I got like a hole in it. learn how to 
to use this thing. I just got it. It was a present. And, uh, hmm. yeah. Well, kind of a present. Oh, boy. It was given to me. This guy, I'm going to turn all the way off here. So I'm putting about, um, probably should put a little more. I'd say about, like, two tablespoons. Uh, flour in here, with the butter, and then the butter. Dogs with cars. It was a uh, no. It was like um. It was just like a mountainscape of some sort with like you know like waterfalls. Like you're kind of like Bob Ross, but if Bob Ross did velvet paintings. <laughs> you gotta have the classics for Valentine's Day, right? You don't like chocolate? At least get some fruit. So, are you smoking your Palo Santo? Huh? Are you smoking that Palo Santo in there? Smoking it? Or burning it, whatever. All right, I need a whisk. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, these are done. Are they done? I don't think so. Yeah, okay, I just never started. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should have figured out how, to, how this thing works before I stream with it. I've only used it once. Most of the seafood, I smoke weed. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. All right. What? I'm going to have a heart attack at the end of this. That's probably good enough. It's a lot of cheese. I'm wondering if I should have used a bigger pot. Like I said, all of this stuff like can always be repurposed for leftovers tomorrow. <laughs> Cheese sauce leftover, put it on an omelet. Um, there is not gonna be any leftovers of this, I'll tell you that one. I wanna add some salt and pepper to this. I'll just keep an eye on it because it is cream and it will burn. Anybody have any awesome Valentine's Day plans? Or any plans? I mean, it is Sunday, I guess, so like maybe the plans won't be as extravagant. What, are you gonna cut my table or something? Huh? Oh, oh no. Oh, if you wanna, I'm sorry, I should have done that. Oh, you don't I have to do this. Yeah, I can cut it for you though. But oh no. I have to go get a screwdriver and some batteries. Oh okay. Ah. Still waiting for my seafood to thaw it. Oh, gotta go mod. All right, take care. Have a good night. Oh, look, it's so cold. So very cold. Oh my gosh. All right, now it's working. And I don't think 
I have the thing set right. Uh, oh, 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 no, it's set right. Had to make sure of that. Okay, I'm gonna put all this cheese in a bowl. A big bowl of cheese. We have gone a little overboard with the cheese. So I'm definitely going to have some extra cheese sauce. I will be taking pictures of the setup once it's all set up. But you can see how I set things up. Yeah, I know. Our, they're looking really nice. I'm just it's, the doors are looking very nice. They're just not on. I know. <laughs> oh, I felt like something hit me in the back of my head. That was really weird. Okay, so I'm going to make a fruit platter up for our chocolate. Oh, you know what? I should get my chocolate melting. Double boiler. Gotta work, of course, but been waiting to call mom. Aw, hoping your car got there. That sucks. It's the day of two tops. Two tops everywhere. pretty good with them. I still have dried prunes, but I don't think that's a sexy fruit. Um, I don't think anybody wants that happening. Although, do apricots do the same thing? Maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe I shouldn't do apricots. That's good. <laughs> Just um, do a very simple cut on these. I'm not gonna get like I would, you know, you could probably do them whole, but you gotta like I don't know, getting your hands so close to the chocolate. I don't want anybody get, oops getting burnt. So do some of them, keep some of them whole. Sometimes, like, you know what, fudge it. We'll do halves, halvesies. What, what are you, I'm all about strawberries. That is my thing. Okay, that guy can see. Love strawberries. They're my favorite. I know they're out of season. It's really hard finding good ones. Hopefully, we have a strawberry bush in the backyard. Hopefully, this year will be a year for strawberries. Yeah, they said that by the second year it should be fruity. Yeah. It, or we could be able to let it fruit. Because the first year you don't want to let it fruit because they um it'll kill the plant. And it just won't like ever have like a good enough harvest, yeah, you know. Um, okay, I probably put some. Um. Oh, I had oranges. 
great. I have these Kara Kara ones, which I don't know where I keep putting them. I swear, like, they went over here. out of season I know I remember it didn't always used to be that way I swear like when I was a kid like you got what you got I mean just thinking like like you know late 80s early 90s I don't remember I remember kiwis being introduced to the market and being like whoa these are cool and exotic and then you couldn't get kiwis all the time or pineapple and it's like now it's like always there's always something. It's so crazy. Okay. I think I'm just going to peel one orange. He smells so good. They didn't have, okay, we got, like, last week, I got these, uh, those went fast, too. I think I only had, like, a couple of months. Uh, these raspberry oranges that are, like, red in the inside, kind of like a blood orange, but they're just, I don't know, they're just better than, blood oranges can be so 50-50. And they could be so expensive, too. What does that's much? These ones kind of have, like, that. They're darker, definitely, than, like, regular oranges or mandarins. I usually like to get the mandarin oranges. They're my favorites. And then I have these cookies, too. I, I don't know if I want to put the cookies on the same plate, though. I'll have to put it on another plate, I think. Yeah, I am. See, I'm, I'm interacting with the menu. I should have you guys stream. Just <laughs> be you guys complaining about. Is that the, the, the simulator thing? Uh, or whatever, that console? <laughs> you got a Sega Genesis simulator console thing. Is that even, is that like... Uh, yeah. And I wonder how they can get the licensing to those games then. Oh, uh, oh gosh. Um, Soldier Boy, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, it was like wild. <laughs> Like, should I refrigerate this? I like, you, you know, okay? I, I don't think I need to refrigerate this. So I'm going to put this over here. And I don't, I don't like, I, I will leave my strawberries out till they're room temperature. Cause I hate when they're like super cold. Cause they kind of like will hurt your teeth, but you don't get like, there's just, they just taste better when they're room temperature. So that's my theory. Let's check on this. It's getting thick. Please. That's a lot of cheese. I don't know if I'm going to need it. Oh, I didn't even put the wine in there either. Dang it. Wine and everything. Sorry, dog. Today. Yeah, that is our thing. This kind of hurts. So I released that, didn't I? Yes. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. I'm going to let this cool for a minute. And then we're going to crisp them up in our air crisper. Yay! Our little fingerling potatoes. 
show you that in a minute when it cools down. Um, and this is our other thing that I have. I guess, you know what, I probably will refrigerate the, the, um, because that is my last course. I was not thinking that. Cookies on a plate. And cold so that's one help you, but I'm like, at the same time, you know. But yeah, you know what? I probably should wrap this and put it in the fridge. These guys don't. I did all that I have like a huge amount of chocolate going but I have this feeling like by the time I get to dessert everyone's gonna be like super full so I don't want says like oh, all right all the time and it's probably my fault but uh, I'm sure I say it like constantly all right onward let's go I should really get into children's programming I'm gonna partner up with Blippi Blippi is my new lord and savior Okay. Do you need to go outside? Good mom. Oh wait, I need to turn this way down. Last time we tried to make anything with chocolate, I was like, I put it on a double boiler and it actually did get overheated. And it's like, how? It's never happened to me. Come on. so hot in here that was kind of refreshing. Darn dog. Gotta be barking like that. Oh man, this is still not where I want it to be. Um, that's okay. Because we got our chocolate stuff together. We need to get our veggie plate together. So we have to do a veggie plate. I have to get, time to get the veggies out. Kroger brand snap peas. I never like buy stuff like this, but you just kind of want to. Oh, maybe I have the love for because I got two. 
Do I need to do that? Probably not. Some of them look like they need it, so. Start letting me eat. Uh, start letting me eat some food. You're going to have to share it. Yeah. And here she is, my poor girl. Oh, 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 no. Did you, did you die enough time? It's just so funny because it's like... <laughs> It's like you're just hearing like the audio of like another stream in the background. Except they're not streaming. Jonathan. I thought we were friends, Jonathan. These kind of yeah, look beat up. I like literally just bought these. Not like, well, not yesterday, but. I figured this could be good for cheese. However, also, it could be good in the court bouillon. But I think court bouillon is going to be mostly meat, so. But y'all have to eat your veggies. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I stole this from a kid. What? You got a problem? <laughs> To do a couple Whoa, more. Like these these things are fun. I like to eat these. <laughs> oh, don't you, uh, I should. I don't know if we're growing be. snap peas this year. We have like a lot of things we're growing, and I have no idea how many how many things we're actually growing this year versus how many things we just bought and are gonna hold on to. I don't know. Trust an unwashed zucchini. <laughs> so mostly with like fondue, like the sauce part, it doesn't really take that long. It's more about presentation and um, cutting up small veggies, which I'm sure like you could probably easily like not have to do if you just buy like like I said I got baby carrots and snap peas. They require like minimal stuff. Alright. I'm trying to get a good mix of this cheese. Outside. Adding the cheese. Just to add it little by little and in order. Oh, hey, Alex. What up? How's my yeah. baby? What are you doing to my child? Just kidding. Oh, hi, Snowy Beard. What were you doing out there? Eating snow? Just adding the cheese nice and slowly. I love when she like goes out there and rolls in the snow and like bounces around in the field. It's so cute. That's like a little snow puppy. Okay. There's like several different things I could do with this. Um, <laughs> when I was an apprentice, they used to like, like make me cut out the seeds. There's like very little seeds here. I mean, take a look. There's like no seeds here. I get it. Like, yeah, it's more like down the line and the middle here 
or like the bigger part but they used to make me cut that out and you just eat the flesh on the side and I'm like that's like kind of a waste in my opinion it is kind of like cardboard though not cardboard but hey we're dipping this in cheese so sticks and then we got to go take a look at our potatoes in a minute guys playing streets of rage too streets of rage i think i may have played that one. everybody what um their favorite retro game is i feel like i am so i don't know like i don't even know i don't know anything anymore about games uh unless it's animal crossing i don't think we need that much i think i'm gonna go with like that much that's good and then everything else Can go by that. I know a lot of people say to roasties, but every time like I get around, to, they're just so like they're like. I mean, maybe if you get it fresh, off the stock. Oh my god. You. But. Oh. Okay. Right here. Oh. It's like I I I play. I, I feel like all the games that I really like to play are the games like people use as excuses for like you're not a gamer that's like I never said I was a gamer so I my anxiety is so bad that like oh I can't play a lot of games because <laughs> it's just like mm, they play the yeah, even like sometimes like Animal Crossing for example I just can't like sometimes I'm just like I can't keep up I can't I'm just I'm not gonna do it it's just too much I which is true because I haven't really played it and a lot of times I'll just like avoid playing it because I'm like just so much like responsibility in this town man yeah we're gonna try to cut these into like mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like little chunks, like a soul. Something that, you know, kind of bite sized. Now, I'm not doing the oil fondue, and that's something that I love oil fondue and usually like to do, but I don't know. I'm just like, maybe it's just my body now being like, you shouldn't have oil fondue. You will die if you do more oil-based stuff. So on Tuesday, we're going to be making punchkis. <laughs> uh, which, if you don't know what punchki is, it's a regional thing. Um, I think they do it in Chicago and Cleveland. Like, mostly where there's, like, you know, Polish people. And uh, it's just like a... It, I guess it's a... It would be insulting to say it's just a jelly donut because it's not just a jelly donut. They're like jelly donuts on steroids. Um, and if you get it from a good place, they'll probably like cook it in lard for you. <laughs> I think that's like how we were supposed to do originally, but yeah. They are like so crazy fatty and so bloody good um oh thank you madame okay. i hope you are having a wonderful valentine's day oh my god oh my god bloop bloop i know now i have
have to wrap this. <laughs> it's all prep today. All prep. I know I look like royalty, which is like, I am here to announce that Megan and Harry are having an, a second child. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> trying to fight sleep. Aw. Oh, that's nice. You got to eat. Sleep is good. I like sleeping. Just, you know, just take a nap. Everybody took a nap, I think. To, wait. Oh, wait. Jack didn't take a nap. Doug take, took a nap today. Yesterday, everybody oh. took a nap. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Take a nap, I'll never wait. It's true. Sometimes. Sometimes it's just be like that. You have to like get you have to like get your nap timing right. I like to take naps around like maybe like one or two and then you could sleep till about like five or six if you want to go for a, like a long haul nap. And then you wake up in time for dinner and like to hang out and then time to go to bed again. <laughs> Hello from Milano, Italy. Uh, 24, Tony Ferrari. Awesome. Oh, you're cleaning your kitchen, but you totally... Some of are a bit scary to me to play, maybe because I'm too slow. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I'm not good at, like, first-person shooter type games. Um, I'm not good at most games. I'm, I'm actually, like, uh, extremely, <laughs> extremely bad at most games. It doesn't stop me from but wanting I mean, to play or playing some I stuff. Everything is so dry lately here. It's driving me crazy. Oh, yes, our potatoes. Let me get there. Come on, cheese. Do your melting magic. It's like almost. Okay. So, this. They're different. They have different names. I yep, they're all nice again. and perfectly cooked. But we're gonna take it an extra step, though. Oh yeah, perfect. They're so cute. We're gonna go one more step. Pretty basic on this. Oh, oh, oh shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> I have this like. I don't know why I'm not okay, that's probably like, gross. I have this like canker sore on the back of my throat. I know it's weird. It's rare. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Sometimes if I hit something the wrong way. <laughs> We're just gonna go, uh, go. <laughs> We're just gonna do some. This is like olive oil blend that I make. Just olive oil and uh, grape oil. Grape oil. Woo! We lost one. At least he ended up in the sink. And then salt and pepper. Right. Nice and oily. <laughs> Keep in mind you're way worse. <laughs> That's why I stick to cooking streams, because at least I'm, I'm decent at cooking. <laughs> Sometimes I screw up, though. I think it's because I, like, get distracted. <clears throat> Or I get impatient. That I think is like one of the biggest things that happens to me. Okay, air crisp. I'm gonna crank it to 400. And stick it at 18. We're gonna flip it around. No one could be bad at playing The Sims. 
<laughs> I, I guess. That is true. I, you know, I I was playing like this, the mobile game, the Sims mobile stuff, which was actually pretty fun. For a minute. I'll show it to you guys in a minute when it's ready. Okay, so I want to do. We're gonna put some liquids, <laughs> liquids, um, liquor <laughs> in our chocolate sauce. There we go. And I'm gonna add some of this uh, heavy whipping cream too. Not in that order. We're gonna do this first. Yes, in that order. Um, I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. But we're really, it's really mostly for flavor, and it's not, you know, for fun. <laughs> well, it's for fun, but I was gonna get Frangelico, and I could not find any Frangelico at the store, and I wasn't gonna go to another store. I don't know if it's, they don't sell it. But I'm alright. It'll be fine. It's close. That should be sufficient. It's like a quarter of a cup. Probably more than what I need, but. Ooh, and I drank it. Uh. <laughs> Drinking this straight would be like. I don't know. I don't know if that'd be good. when you, you stop cooking professionally in kitchen. It's like, I, I keep being like, I want to do some catering on the side and stuff. I can't do anything because it's the pandemic. Nor do I want to do anything. I don't want to deal with people. <laughs> That's great. Maven. I'm not dealing with nobody. But I wanted to do a pop up. I haven't done a pop up in a long, long time. What the fart is this guy? It's coming out really good. I'll show you guys in a second. It's just I, I got some clumps I need to work out. Do it anymore. Ooh, I think I can add more cheese to this. 
Mike, where is the cheese threshold limit? Oh, man. Right, Jack. Well, it kind of looks like an eye, and an eye is, it's kind of hard to read while you're also trying to like play something like Dirty Guys. Um, <laughs> I would go that way if you want. Trying to <laughs> take out Dirty Guys. <laughs> oh, gotta go get those pirates. it would help if I turn oh. the machine on that's supposed to be cooking the stuff. Now I have to <laughs> to wait for like ever now. That's from the Pretzel Baron, whoever that is. Wonder what country he's from. Baron Von Pretzel, at your service. Okay, there we go. Know, it has the cheese, it kind of kicked together. Or not the cheese, the salt. Sprinkle, uh, I'll just serve. Like moisten sprinkle serve. I think I'm gonna go um without them. I you know I have some bread here too, like tradition. Well, it's whatever this Cuban bread stuff is. up some of that bread. I don't know like <laughs> if it really needs that extra salt, but we'll have the extra salt on the side if we need it. It's good. It's looking good. a loaf of bread but this guy's got this guy's gone stale I think we'll be good Although the more like cream I put in here, like the less like this is gonna really like I don't know. Melts. Okay. I don't wanna have to put this through a blender to get these like clumps to like work out. But I wanna show you what I'm talking about. This is what happens when I shouldn't I I shouldn't have put the liquor in. Yeah, that I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but uh, see, yeah, that happened. And uh, oh, oh, now I'm doing something. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Now I have to like break this up. <laughs> More. I think I'm sure it'll work itself out. I could probably get a whisk, and it'll probably right help here. out too. I think I just have to work on it a lot. Basically like a ganache is just like heavy cream and chocolate and 
If you need to, you can add sugar at some point. But usually there's already sugar in the chocolate. Unless you're working with 100% cocoa, but you're probably not going to ever work with 100% cocoa. Ow. It's getting better. It just needs like, it, need, it just needs a little love. And like the water in this pot is still pretty warm, so. Could you do this in a microwave? Oh, no, It'd be much easier, yes. Much easier, I mean, if you like to stop the microwave every two minutes. That's why I don't really particularly like doing the microwave method, is because, I mean, I don't know, I just don't like putting that much wear and tear on my um, microwave. But it all works. doesn't sound too fun though. Yeah. <laughs> it requires like a lot of like, you know, you put it on for a minute, then you take it out and stir it. It's so much of, I, I mean, it works when you're working in small batches. If you just want to melt some chocolate to dip like some strawberries in it or whatever. But sometimes it's just such a pain. Oh my gosh. These need to thaw a little bit more than I thought. But that's okay. We can throw them on a plate. These things thaw out like relatively quickly. So if I leave them out, they'll be ready for time to eat. Just got to be careful with seafood when you're thawing seafood. Just like with any other meat. So they put a glaze. If you ever buy like seafood, they put a glaze on it for two reasons. One, it keeps it fresh. Keeps it from like getting freezer burnt. Probably. I'm just under some cold water. I kind of want to dry these off. And then another reason why they do it is so they can add weight to their product and charge you more. It's more like an added side effect. Oh. Some cold water. Oh, can I mention it's like freaking cold outside? I'm sorry. Chocolate <laughs> milk, chocolate, and air fryer. That's really cool. I just got this air fryer thing, and I'm and and I'm very like very excited. I've only made one other thing in there, so there will be streams in which I'm going to use this. Air fryer combo doodad. Ooh, it's so cold. My poor hands. Ah, I'm very sensitive to the cold as my hands are starting to turn, like, I don't know. They're not quite purple yet. I will not let them get the purple. I can, ooh, so painful. <laughs> Like when I was working at the seafood market, when I was working in the market, I would always be like, my hands would always be red like the minute I get in there. 
Oh, you could cook a lot. Yeah. Five lobster in three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that time I I cooked a live lobster on stream and it juiced all over me? Yeah. I should put that in your jar. There might. Oh my. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna break these into pieces. I love to keep them whole like this if I was steaming them, but we're not really steaming them because we're gonna just be putting them in the uh, court bouillon and warming them up that way. Yeah, you can, yeah, it seems really cool. I love this thing so far. I didn't get all the ice off of this. Come on, come on. I should put the apron on soon. Should put at least my half apron on. Because I always get that, like, you know, leaning up against the counter thing. Um... I should go and flip them in a minute. How did you run? Yeah, I like how this thing has like it has, does pressure cooking and air fry. It does it all. It's really cool. I have um, another pressure cooker. I have a rice maker. I love my gadgets. I love my gadgets. Oh yeah, never mind. The fondue forks would be small enough to get in here. I'm like, I'm like, oh no, I don't have any crab forks. Um, they were on sale, so they were twenty three dollars for about two pounds. Ooh, thank you for the follow, Gonzo. I much appreciate. Oh, well, I've been like pummeling the crowd out of this guy. Oh, right. Oh, ew. No. These aren't bad. They're like a, uh, a little on the smaller side. I, uh, you know. But, uh. They're probably worth the price. So they were. How much a pound? Normally fourteen a pound. Weren't they selling like almost twenty a pound when we left uh, the fish mar market? But they're a bigger size too. So there's that. Ooh. That guy's kind of big. I kind of want to break him, but. Okay. My phone is, or not my phone, my watch is sending me all sorts of alerts today. And I'm like, okay. Right. These can go over here. Like I said, they're still kind of frozen, so I'm just going to let them sit out for a little bit. I'll probably end up putting them in the fridge, back in the fridge. But the question is, I have this easy peel shrimp. Should I leave the shells on? Because... When you cook it with the shells on, you uh, you get more flavor, and it kind of like protects the meat in a way. But also, it's a pain in the butt. They're already like deveined, so I don't have to worry about. Boop. I think I'm gonna leave them on. We could peel them when we get there or something like that. I don't know. Oh, I gotta do this. Oh, these are looking good. So. You can kind of see they're crisping up a little bit. You can hear them. I got about four 
more minutes to go on there. And is the sun setting already? It's yeah. <laughs> I'm like, isn't like spring supposed to be here soon? Like, I know like this uh, sun's been getting up earlier. It rose at seven today. <laughs> oh, sun. do our seafood, our other half of the seafood. So many plates, so many trays. Ah, thing in the back of my throat. But we're going to check, we're going to just double check. We'll leave the shells on. And then um, we have some lobster. Ooh. So, here. Get a closer look at the stuff. These are the extra large ones, they said. They look like 1620s to me. I don't know. I don't like getting them too. Sometimes, like, I'm weird about shrimp. Cause I don't like them too big. Cause sometimes they're like, I don't know. It's too much. It's too, the, the texture kind of gets to me, but, um, the smaller, the size, I feel like you don't want to do as much texture issues, but that's just me. That's my personal opinion. And don't take me, I, I, I'm trying to make this look pretty and it's just, it's just not working. It's not like cooked shrimp. They're still a little slimy. And I probably didn't check them as well as I would like to, but they look like they went deep on those. All right, so I should get scissors to do this. Because what you want to do is you're going to cut here. And then I'm going to try to take this out. And then we're going to cut this into small bits and then try to put it back in there and then lay them in here. So... like trying not to hurt the meat but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna cut the meat anyway into small bits so I'm not really although I really should be careful could Someone's having a get together. Oh no, no take the skin out. Whatever this is, exoskeleton. I think they make it's made out of keratin, so it's kinda close to it's more like hair. Uh, normally I would not recommend this is how this is not how you would like prepare lobster we're doing something kind of different Doesn't have any roe or tamale. I'm not a tamale fan. I don't know. It's okay. It's I'm some people are like really into the tamale. 
I love tamales, but not tamale with a Y as much. I'm trying to do like bite-sized pieces here. I don't know if my boat idea is gonna be good enough because oh, that was my face. It wouldn't be a stream with lobster if I didn't get it all in my face. Does this look okay? You can kind of pick up pieces. Next. This would, that would be cool if this one did have like a little tamale or something. Oh, it looks like it did, but it looks like they removed it. They cleaned it out. Probably because they don't want to deal with customers at Kroger, like being like, what is this green stuff in my lobster? I want to return it. Something that we used to get a lot at the fish shop. Stay pretty. Try to stay pretty. <sighs> okay. Cut these into nice chunks. Probably be part of the tamale, but I don't know. Oh no! Oh no! I got some legs in there. Okay, beautiful. I'm gonna wrap that up. Throw that in the refrigerator. I wish I made it look a little bit uh, fancier, but I don't have any platters. I need to like invest in some platters. I was just thinking about that, like maybe going to Valley World uh, next week or or whatever this week, and getting a bunch of um, stuff the blog and for the show for plating which I don't really have like a whole lot of fancy plates they don't have to be fancy you just have to uh it's not about the fanciness of the plates it's more about the um I need stuff that kind of yeah you know uh has different backgrounds and stuff because white food on a white plate yeah that's gonna pho photograph really good you know vice versa just having stuff that way like not all my like pictures look like in the same dish all the time and different size dishes can showcase you know things much better oh you need a glass of water 
Very whiny. <laughs> it needs a little more salt. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's not necessarily for like drinking. It's more for cooking in. But like I said, I can always um, use it as like a base for sauces and whatever if I have extra. So I froze my filet mignon because I needed it to. Um, I wanted to slice it really thin, but I think it might be like still too frozen. Does this one have? Yeah. Everything I I bought had security stickers. I think that's just so sad. Look, if someone's gonna steal food, they're probably poor. If they're not, then they're jerks. Yeah, whatever. But I would say like, if someone's stealing food, <laughs> I think they cannot be on good in in a good place. Maybe they just want to do something special for their honey Some for their kids. So cool. Okay, I can slice it. All right, all right. I'm gonna try to slice it as thin as as thin as we can. Um. I think that's pretty thin. What do you think? What do you guys think? Pretty thin, right? Why It'll like thaw like really quickly once you get it thin, but that one's a little thicker, but I don't want it to be like paper thin, I just want it to be thin. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, feel like it's just so much easier to do it when it's like frozen or semi-frozen. This is how we would do carpaccio. We'd have at this one place I worked. Well, we wouldn't do it by hand. We had like a, obviously a, a slicer. So. As you know, this time we're using my kiwi knife because I'm not going to use my expensive knives on anything frozen or chocolate. Never use a good knife on chocolate. Chocolate's weird. It will mess up your knives. Rowan said hi. Hi, Rowan. It's like, excuse me while I like kind of like try to concentrate on not slicing off my hands. <laughs> I guess like, I bet you like one steak probably would have been enough. So I'm gonna go with all of it. Like I said, I can use this and the cheese sauce to make an omelet in the morning. Or whatever. I wonder if that, if that is that good ASMR sounds. I don't know. Cutting frozen meat. This is what I got so far. Ooh. Now I'm gonna put another layer. Uh oh. I think I came out a little thick, but that's okay. If you go 
go to an Asian mart, they usually have like the paper thin stuff for like your um, hot pots and stuff like that. You can always use that if you don't feel like cutting your own. This is filet mignon. So it's a little bit more pricey. And you could probably just, you know, if you slice it thin like this, you could, this, you know, you can make carpaccio with this and all that. Although I'd use like a more fattier cut for carpaccio and like a wagyu. You get more um, flavor from a fattier cut. I can't remember what we used to use. I think we used to use the, like, the, whatever that, that, that football thing, the football shaped one. <laughs> Must oh gosh, what is it called? Such a lovely little cleaver. My $10 cleaver. It's so pricey. I don't know if it was 10 or 20 bucks, but. Kiwi brand, can't go wrong. what else I'm missing. I think after this we need to have a discussion about dipping sauces. Dipping sauces I think are the last thing. So I need to get ghee together. Yeah. Dipping sauce helps maybe. Oh I need to make cocktail sauce. That's what I need to do. So I don't have any lemon juice, and I don't think I have any lemons. Gee dang it. Ooh, our neighbors are going out. <laughs> I want to know where they go. What is it like going to a restaurant right now? Tell me. I just feel so, I just feel so bad for the waste staff. I can't make myself go. I'll get carry out. It's like I already feel bad going to, in the restaurants because <laughs> I'm always just like I remember waiting tables and that sucks. <laughs> uh. Hey, Great Oscar, I'm just thinking about you the other day. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. I should wash these because they had lobster on them. Do that charge thing. Oh, wait. So basically what I have to do is with these sauces and stuff over here is I'm, I'm going to have to transfer them to my fondue pot thing, but I have to get that like... That'll be like a completely different setup. So. Oh, but though. Okay, so I have. Put this away, I think. I want to take my hand. And then that's it. That's it. No more cream. Oh my gosh. So much cream. Not good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. I was hoping you were gonna say you're doing great. This is the old cheese bowl. Sorry, give me a second. I'm trying to think. Uh. Okay, oh yes, these, right. Potatoes, don't know why this is out. Potatoes and dipping sauces. Okay, I got this dipping sauce. Oh, you're ill? Well, I hope you have a speedy recovery. Smells like uh, Big Mac sauce. Oh, okay. I, I 
think it'll be good. I like Big Macs. Okay. We're having, um, yeah, it's almost like a thousand, like basically, it's what it smells like. It says like it's a horseradish sauce, but I mean, or maybe that or like more like the sauce that you get like with the blooming onion kind of, which is basically like Thousand Island, isn't it? It's maybe like Thousand Island without like. So we're gonna use ghee for our, yeah, it's creamy. We're gonna use, um, it's like so many people outside of my house and I'm like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> no, I just keep seeing people like coming out of nowhere. I'm like, this is a winter warning. Like, why are you guys walking around? Where are you? <laughs> where are you going? Winter warning! We're all gonna die! No, we've been like in an infinite winter warning for like two weeks, I swear. Thank you. I tried. <laughs> I'm gonna just put this, because I'm just gonna put this over here and hope that it melts to um, perfection. We have some crab legs, so some snow crab. Oh, they're right here. Snow crab legs. If I need to. They're, they're finishing thawing out so and I love this dress it's like a it's from Target <laughs> uh, it's a lot of potatoes but I'm gonna put it all anyway and like I said breakfast tomorrow if I don't eat them all I mean we purpose all of this for breakfast steak Eggs, cheese sauce, and potatoes. Let's see. They got crispy. They're like perfectly roasted. They probably could have stayed in a little bit longer if I wanted to get a little more color to them. It doesn't really matter that much because they're going to be repeated or stuck in like. Um, Amber says hi. Hi, Amber. Hi, Amber. They're very hot, so I'm not going to stick it in my mouth. <laughs> All right, here's my roasted potatoes. Oh, here. Ooh. I want to get the color right on this camera. I don't think I can. The white balance is. It's just, I think, the way the camera is. No doubt about it. Oh, hurry, man. It's on. It's on. Like, put these over the here. Because these don't need to be refrigerated. They're just going to stay room temperature because they're going to go in hot substances anyway. Uh, cocktail sauces. I think the. One of the last things I gotta do. Like I said, it's 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 not hard to do fondue. It's just requires a lot of planning. The fondue is super easy. Like I said, in theory, right? Hold on but it's like a bunch of different things. I guess I could throw some hot sauce in this. I don't think Doug's gonna want that anyway. Don't have lemon juice. And I knew I should have picked up a jar of lemon juice because. Maddie, Zoe, what did we put in the cocktail sauce at you know where? <laughs> I think it was just horseradish and ketchup, but I'm going to put some hot sauce in this one. We used to put, at one place I worked, we used to put chili sauce. Uh, kind of. We're doing like a Valentine's Day uh, dinner. Doing like a fondue party thing with my significant others. Yes. 
Thanks. It's just ketchup and horseradish. I got the. Do you, I hate. I don't know. I have to figure out how to work this lamp. Shoop. How do beauty bloggers do it? They have. They always have like fifty bajillion lamps on them, too. Horseradish and ketchup. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm like, don't fall into the stuff. I'm gonna put some crystal in there. Because we want it to be even more spicy. Like so many other condiments, like I was gonna, I thought about making some, but other than horseradish, cause I'm like, you know what, I have all the ingredients to make horseradish at home. I'm just gonna make that at home instead of buying it and cluttering up. Like, I have so many condiments, y'all. Like, it's crazy in here. <laughs> it's just like nonstop. I got banana ketchup. like five bajillion different sauces <laughs> okay so we have um, I'm trying to make sure I have everything before we go offline here because I'm like I feel like I'm done a little earlier than I expected it to be veggies check that check got the fruit got the potatoes the meat that seafood that oh I never really did get to show you guys G sauce it's pretty good poor little on nothing really much to look at but G sauce probably also not much to look at but boy does it smell good we're gonna have to try it though It wouldn't be saucy Sunday without sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then we were also part of this chocolate weekend. Now I'm kind of like, I feel lame just doing fondue. I should heat these up. I think these need to be heated up. They didn't say they need to be heated up, but damn, that is good though. I think I'm gonna pop this in the microwave. That is very good. Oh. oh no, not on the velvet. No, I think I've got it off. Yeah, I don't know what. I'm just kind of like. Hmm, I don't know what the best um, idea I had. I think they need to be toasted. Put them in the air fryer. Actually, I wonder if I should put them in the air fryer. Mm -hmm. I might just do that. Maddie, recommendations on air frying? I have eyes to change this. Air frying pretzel bits to crispiness or goodness. better 
Raw or frozen? Uh, they're not raw or frozen, but they definitely need to be like, and I don't want to, I was thinking about putting them in the toaster oven, but I didn't want to clean up the toaster oven. <laughs> okay. Well, I put it on for five minutes. Should I crank it up? Can I do that? Miss? We'll go with eight minutes. Ooh, the chocolate fondue is fondue and it really well. Oh, yeah. My ghee is melting. Oh, then not, not long. Okay. Okay. There's like a, I know there's like a de delay on my stream. I, it's not anything I can do about it, unfortunately. So it, does, I don't, it doesn't really have to do with my internet. It's just how, that's just how Twitch do. So I'm always like having to like remember it's like what did I say like five minutes ago and I can't remember anything ever. I'm like a goldfish. I'm just like boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I'm about ready to get munching man. I am ready for this. This is awesome. So excited I spent way too much money on this. <laughs> so, yeah. better be good. No, it's good. That cheese is like, it's lit. Unstable. Okay, well, it's pretty stable to me. I just don't think they like me streaming at such a high um, bit rate. Quickly, and into this channel. There we go. Whew. Looking for people to host when we are done. Because we're going to be done in about like five seconds here. King crab and lobster bisque. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Palentine's Day. Sarah Nicole. Oh, she got like some sort of instant pot thing going. Oh, it cooled down. All right, we gotta check these guys out. Check it out. <laughs> oh yeah, they are much better. They are also ridiculously hot, but I kinda wanna keep them in there because then they'll just stay warm. <laughs> I, that's like the thing, it's like, I'll leave it in there, but with the lid off, because if I put the lid on, then they might like get like stale and like hard. So I had that happen before where I've been like, oh yeah, I'll just turn this off. I'm just going to leave whatever in the, in the oven and then I'm going to get to it like 10 minutes later and it'll be nice and warm and ready to serve. And then you go in there and it's just like, it's like dried out because the heat. So it's like a balance you got to play with that. All right. I think that's everything, you guys. I think I am completely done streamlabs is broken oh probably oh, you're you mean like in general right now i have problems with this all the time i use the uh, streamlabs obs and it's a pain in my butt and uh but now that i've migrated everything over to it i, I I don't want to go back to regular OBS because then I have to set that all up again. But honestly, if I'm going to do anything else, I'm going to buy like streaming software and I'm going to 
buy a good one. I'm gonna buy something pro. I will just like yeah, save nice. up money and spend like three hundred dollars on it or something. Huh? Yeah. What do you want, puppy? Oh. Let's go raid Sammy. everyone for spending your Valentine's Day with me. Uh, I really appreciate it. I wish I made like, I had this idea last minute where I would read off Valentine's to people and um, I can't come up with anything good off the top of my head, but I do appreciate everyone um, <clears throat> very much. And uh, I hope you guys had a good time. Um, and I'm gonna post, uh, I'll post more on here, on my uh, Instagram and my Twitter. Um, you know, I had it really. Um, where was I going with this? I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I can't type and think apparently at the same time. Um, thank you very much for um coming out and uh, spending your Valentine's Day with me. Uh, I really appreciate it. I'm gonna clean. I'm gonna host Sammy. Say hi. You're very welcome to come and uh, hang out in her chat. She's awesome. She was a mod for me for a long, long time. She's still. Does have like mod? <laughs> she still has a mod. Um, and uh, I'm gonna serve all this food. So um, everybody oh, have a good night or day. Yeah. Take care. <laughs>